Hello, hi to all my uh, YouTube channel viewer out there who has support me for all this while. Hello again. I'm happy to to see you again. I'm happy that we meet again in my channel today. So it's a wonderful day today. It's not raining. Okay, it's a suitable day for me to make a video. So <clears throat> let's get started. Um, this washing machine. I want to fix the problem because this washing machine have the problem with the door interlock so I cannot get it run because the door interlock has uh, failed so I will show you what happened actually so uh, this washing machine uh, already been in service for uh, nearly 13 years it's more than a decade nearly 13 years uh, and then uh, Within this year, this is the second time it has a problem. Uh, a month ago, it has the problem with the uh, water drain uh, actuator motor. But this one I fixed, I fixed that one already. Uh, and then uh, last week, another problem uh, popped up, which is the door interlock problem, is failed. So I cannot get the machine run. So I show you, I show you what happened with the machine so that uh, you guys understand and you know. Uh, this problem would happen to you and uh, you know what to do okay let's get started okay I put in the cloth I put in the detergent the lid and turn it on I turn it on but uh, I try to get it stuck started it won't start and uh, it give me an error you see the error there H 27 and uh, the door is locked last week when I uh, come to face of this uh, with this problem I tried to modify the circuitry wiring system so that I can uh, bypass something so I can nullify the wiring system but it doesn't work that way it, it doesn't mean to be that way so this is the button that I install uh, so that I can uh, bypass the system but it won't work so you see the indicator door locks indicator it's a uh, light up red when I press the button it goes off it goes off but still 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 the machine won't work it cannot work so um, So from my experience uh, in this kind of problem to the machine, uh, I know exactly what is the problem. But uh, to service, uh, to repair this uh, washing machine with this kind of problem, you have to have a tool, a set of tools. I have the set of tools that are needed. Not many tools needed. You got to have this uh, short uh, screwdriver. Uh, you got to have this cutter and this screwdriver, the light, and the wire tape. That's all that uh, we, we're going to need. I, I put it here first. So let's get started, fix the problem. So hopefully it will run. First, we need to open the the top 
cover of the washing machine. We need to turn the machine off first, yeah, and off all the uh, electrical incoming electrical socket. You have to turn off, otherwise it gets uh, shock, electrical shock. There's another screw here over there, and a screw over there. You have to open. You, you have to know how to op, to uncover, to open the cover of the washing machine. So this is a, a unique uh, experience uh, to know what is the design of the machine. And then uh, I personally I like the brand uh, for washing machine, the brand Panasonic because uh, the design is uh, simple and the uh, functional functionality is uh, great. Uh, you can play around with the uh, uh, button for automatic uh, operation and it's great so you have to open it like this such as this like so okay see i know the problem is uh, something to do with this inside here there's a door interlock door interlock uh, component it's a device a electrical device to to keep the uh, machine running safely okay so we have to <coughs> open the cover so that we can uh, take out the uh, interlock unit <coughs> okay Yeah, there we go. There we go. Here it is. Uh, the interlock device. Okay, this is the thing that had gone bad. So I have to replace this with the new one. Okay, here is the new one. This is the spare uh, that I got. Uh, I, I bought it from uh, online store. Uh, so it kept me a week to wait for this uh, component to arrive. So this is the old one. Uh, it's the same, typically the same. So I reconnect the wiring for for the wiring from the interlock device uh, all the way go to the uh, the motherboard the electronic control board so I reconnect Now uh, this machine I already do 
the modification, the modification uh, is not original anymore. So this is how we do it. As long as uh, we can get it run, it's okay. I got my knife. Oh, it's going to rain. The rain is coming. So, we install the new interlock. It's raining. We have to put back together the the new interlock, we have to put it back. This wire here, this is a modificated wire. We put it in there. Put it in there. We don't use it anymore. We don't use it anymore.
We scaled uh, and put back everything together. Put on the screw. Okay, it look good. Doesn't have an error anymore. So I can get it started. Okay, now this machine is working. Now the problem is fixed. Now it can work. It have the error anymore. Uh, uh, so our project today is uh, successful right to all my youtube channel viewer out there please uh, uh, support me uh, uh, with my other video which uh, will come come next uh, maybe soon or not in the future i'm not sure but i will slowly come back to you with a new video uh, normally i do the video for the technical repairing so everybody can learn from this tutorial